What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol SPY for the S&P 500 ETF. On the left-hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. We cover this market regularly here on the channel. The main thing to point out today is twofold. Firstly, we have opened and closed back above 443.50. That's an important level, not only because it was the low end of this balance right here, but it was most importantly, the top end of this balance here, which was resolved to the upside. So the fact that we now have a move below and then a recapture starts to make me think that if sellers were going to materialize, their chance was here. They could have sold it higher on the back test of that area. It simply didn't happen. Now, the one big sort of question mark that we will have to contend with is of course the mystery meeting of the FOMC coming out tomorrow at 2 p.m. So that is the big wrench that can be thrown in the mix here. And because of that, I'm still gonna say 50-50 in terms of direction could be higher, could be lower based on what comes out of the meeting. The technicals would certainly suggest that yes, the recapture of this level is slightly bullish and we are you know, likely, more likely than not, gonna head back up to the top of the range at 451. But because of the FOMC, as I pointed out, I've gotta be a little bit more neutral than that. The other thing I could point out here is the fact that we are doing something like this. So we do have a higher low being produced. But again, more in the neutral camp, we also have two equal highs. And also you could do something like this, right? A lower high for, or excuse me, a lower low from there to there. So there's a number of ways to be looking at this, but in, in, in all of its totality, I would suppose that this is probably a, an area to be neutral, to be quite frank with you. Even if we do something like this, what do we always say about the midpoint of a balance range? always be more neutral here. This is not where your opportunity exists. Your opportunity exists at the top for mean reversion or a breakout. And again, the same but opposite at the bottom, mean reversion or a breakdown. So I've got to be a little bit more neutral in this video here because of all of the reasons we've mentioned so far. If this was strictly a technical picture, I would say that we could lean slightly more bullish than bearish, but the FOMC is the big wrench in the mix. Hopefully I've made that clear. Let's take a quick look at the 30 minute intraday time frame here just to see what was unfolding. Nothing more than a balance range. Nothing going on today. Absolutely no reason uh, you know, to be trading around in this chop. As soon as we did this on the open, highs and lows set back and forth, it was sort of dead, right? There was no activity to be had, especially as we failed to break out up and over that high uh, here closer to noontime, right? So to me, very choppy session. It's all going to boil down to it's going to be a patience play until Mr. Powell is off of his sort of microphone stand and the FOMC is in our rear view mirror. So if you want to play this, I would say, okay, you're sort of playing with fire, but there is you know, technically speaking, a setup up and over the highs of this uh, channel here for a breakout up to the top. We talked about that target 451.83 or a breakdown back down underneath that all important level, the 443.50 for rotation here to the low of uh, Monday session, close to 437, right? And if we get there, then I would start leaning more bearish, right? In the sense that we have equal highs, lower high here, equal lows, we would expect the next lower low to bring us here for 28.50. So, I want to be abundantly clear. I want to be neutral headed into tomorrow. The technical perspective would say potentially higher based on the psychological shift of getting back above that important area, but we're open to either way, right? Could take out the top of the range, could take out the bottom of the range. Either way, we've got targets on either side and we'll be patient into 2 p.m. tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's video or learned anything new, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.